I hope you're doing good today. Welcome to your September love reading. Disclaimer, my window is open. I live on a busy street. It's really loud. Um, I'm sorry. It's really hot in my apartment right now at this moment. Usually, like, we usually have, like, a really nice breeze going, but today it's just way too freaking hot, and I have to have the windows open or else I'm going to die. I also have my fan on me, so anyway, I'm really excited to see what is coming up in September in love for Leos because I'm a Leo rising so we'll see hopefully it's not too terrible um, I'm going to start off with just a general tarot poll and then we will kind of go from there to see like what I want to pull next so let's get into it let's get into it should I like push this down more does that help yes I like that okay are doing good though and my name is Alex if you don't know me okay let's see what's coming in at the oh justice okay I'm trying to switch up the way I do these love readings just like making them a little bit longer piece of wands nice So we start off the beginning of the month with the justice card. So you are getting karmic justice for something. Then we go to the seven of swords in the reverse. I feel like this could be a confession coming in from someone. And then we have the knight of pentacles in the reverse and the two of swords in the reverse. What I find really interesting is that right under the justice card here, we have the ace of wands. Such a pretty card. I love this card. There is a new beginning happening for you, and I think that's why the Ace of Wands is happening is under the Justice card. There's a new beginning here, and it feels very passionate, and it feels very new, and it feels very different. It feels different than what you've been through in the past. It feels different than what you've ever dealt with before. Knight of Pentacles in the reverse tells me that you have been at a standstill in your love life, so if that hasn't been you, obviously like take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Maybe you've been at a standstill with a certain person. Again, I'm so sorry for all the noise in the background. Um, it's hot. It's hot, okay? Global warming is real. I gotta have the window open. Um, Two of Swords in the reverse tells me, though, even though you've been at a standstill, you're trying your best to get the energy moving again. And this definitely makes sense given that Mercury retrograde and Venus retrograde happened at the same time. Even though this summer was really, really positive astrologically for Leos, it doesn't mean that you won't be confronted with some of your past shadows. I'm not saying that it has to be super, super difficult and incredibly emotional or even traumatizing. It's just kind of like, it's just normal human stuff, you know? And I feel like there is something here that's been keeping you a bit stuck but I almost kind of feel like you've been okay with it keeping you at a standstill. I feel like you've been really good about like asking yourself why you are stuck and figuring out how to get yourself unstuck so that you don't get yourself stuck in the future. I think that this confession energy from the Seven of Swords in the reverse is you confessing to yourself. Of course that could be from another person, but um, Seven of Swords in the upright is someone who's sneaky so I feel like you've been re really reflecting on how you've uh, I want to say like how, how you've like screwed yourself over and I feel like you're having honest conversations with yourself um, obviously any anyone who has hurt you and like put you through some sort of traumatic situation that's not your fault and we you know we don't victim blame here but I also feel like you're taking responsibility for the red flags that you've ignored in your past partners and you realize, you know what, like, I definitely had a part in that. I could have walked away and I didn't. Instead, I stayed and now I can't do that anymore and I'm taking accountability and let's, let's move forward. Let's move forward. We then go to the Ace of Wands, which is a passionate new beginning. I feel like, it feels like you're being reborn in a way. 
and you're being selfish with your energy with the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. With the Knight of Cups in the reverse, you're not just giving your energy or your love to just anyone anymore. And also, if you get any sort of energy or if you get any sort of inkling from a person that they are selfish, you're just kind of like, no, that's ending here and now. And this is really helping your mental health this month. Wow, this feels very mature, Leo. I really like this. Overall, we have Ace of Cups and the Page of Pentacles in the reverse. So I feel like Ace of Cups in the reverse is like you need to do more self-love stuff. You need to fill up your own cup more. And I feel like your cup is just very empty right now. And having this revelation now, like moving forward, you're like, okay, this is my new beginning. This is my chance to really fill up my own cup. And so I feel like that's what you're really working on this month. Page of Pentacles in the reverse, I feel like you're trying to recognize that just because someone isn't in your life anymore, that doesn't mean it was like a missed opportunity. I think you're just being more selfish with your energy, but like in a good way. Nice. Is there anything coming in for Leo? Anything in love coming in for Leo? Okay. <laughs> Very Mercury retrograde. Oh, there you are, Leo. The sun. Ooh. Usually I take, when, when cards come out like sideways like this, I take them as a challenge. I don't feel like doing that today. I don't know why. So I may do it for other readings if you see your other signs, but uh, for some reason with yours, I just don't feel called. So like I said, I'm kind of switching up the way I do readings. So yeah, Leo, you have someone here that has their eye on you. And I want to say it's someone from the past because we have a lot of heartbreak here. I really think that you've released this person and this person is not okay with you moving forward. We end this poll with the 10 of Pentacles, which is great. However, right above the Ten of Pentacles, we have the Devil. I always say this. We have a lot of reconciliation energy here. I always say this on my lives. If you want reconciliation with an ex, it always comes at a price. It always comes at a price. We start off here with the Page of Swords. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have anyone coming in? Yes. There's someone here who has their very close eye on you. On social media they've been watching you for a minute i think this is someone from the past because we have the three of swords in the reverse this is someone who's broken your heart before and you've mended it and you've put yourself back together after this they could have also put you in a third party situation as well so maybe they left you for another person or cheated on you however that resonates maybe they didn't i don't know and then we have the ace of cups in the reverse again we just saw that you're having this new beginning here where you're learning how to put yourself first and of course that's when they come back in, right? We have Aries, Leo, Gemini, and Capricorn here. Yeah. Next we have the devil, like I said. This person is very tempting. And I'm guessing that they're very attractive. I think that physically you guys have a connection that you guys that you can't really explain. Uh, with, with the devil, then we have the sun, which is Leo energy, happiness, and then we have the queen of wands, someone who's very attractive, someone who's very alluring as well, and confident. I think the physical connection between you two is crazy, and I feel like it's very unexplainable. But with the emperor in the reverse here, I feel like physical attractiveness is about all there is here. Once you get a little bit deeper, that's when everything goes to shit. <laughs> this person is very manipulative we see that here with the emperor and the reverse and the devil yeah when this person comes in they're going to give you the spiel of all spiels ten of pentacles is like 
I mean, that's marriage, the house, the dog, the empire, the kids, the legacy, the everything, the money, whatever, what have you. In my opinion, it's the best love card in the deck because that's everything you could ever want. And that's what this person is going to offer you. But we still have the devil here. And it also looks like with the Ace of Cups reverse, by the time this person has come in, come, come in, what the fuck? I can speak. Ew, that's not a disgusting come <laughs> I'm sorry. By the time this person comes in, you're not, your cup isn't fully, it's not full. Your cup isn't full yet. Like you're still in the process of like, learning how to put yourself first like really really like we can sit here all day and be like yeah I did skincare last night and I'm putting myself first like but that's just a part of it when someone who's very tempting comes in that's when you're really tested because you're like I've lost myself in this before can I trust myself not to do it again it's not just about face masks and taking epsom salt baths and like going to get your nails done it's so much more than that And this person tempts you to kind of give it all up again and start all over. And I feel like if you do give in to this person, it is going to come at a price. Whether that be your sanity, your money. And I want to say, I don't know why I want to say integrity. It feels more of like a personal integrity as opposed to like integrity like and how that affects other people. I feel like if you give in to this person, you're betraying yourself. Overall, we have the Magician reverse and the Five of Swords. The Magician in the reverse is someone who's manipulative and the Five of Swords is someone who's very selfish. This person doesn't have any good intentions with you. And Yes, you can end up married to this person, but again, it's going to come at a price. You're not going to be who you truly are with this person. Five of Swords is like a bullying energy. I, I feel like if you get back together with this person, it's going to, everything's going to be on their time. Everything is going to be what they want. Um, you're going to have to do what they want to do or else. I don't know, maybe they'll leave, maybe they'll yell at you, maybe they'll betray you again, I don't know. But I feel like the longer you stay with this person, the more they chip away at you. And I think we should avoid that, right? else that Leo should look out for this September. Ooh. Okay, Knight of Cups. Two of Swords in the reverse again. Okay. So I don't want to speak too soon, but something tells me you are going to have to make a decision between two different people. So let's keep going before I speak too soon, right? With the temperance right under that. Lots of patience here. Sagittarius and Leo are here, and Libra. Don't pay too much attention to the signs though. Oh my goodness. Leo, you can have it all if you be patient. Oh my God. Whoever this person, whoever this new person is, I want to say, they could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Knight of Cups energy here. We have a little knight in shining armor. Gender doesn't matter, right? Uh, we have a little knight in shining armor coming in here who kind of wants to save the day. He's very romantic. Or they're very romantic, I should say. With the Two of Swords in the reverse, I feel like you're going to have a hard time saying yes to this person. And I feel like 
you're going to be reflecting back on this past person, this devil energy we just pulled on. You're going to be like, oh my god, are they going to fuck me over too? And then we have the three of swords in the reverse. This person, I don't think is going to come in until either late September or even later. And I say that because we have two cards here that talk about third party stuff. Dare I say that this person is going through exactly what you're going through, which would make sense, right? Mercury retrograde brings all the exes from the underworld back. Hello. Hey, shut up. Anyway, like I said, uh, Mercury retrograde brings the demons back from the underworld and it's just to test us to see if we're ready to move forward. I think this person is currently dealing with their own injustice. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that you do not know this person. I don't think you've met this person yet. And when you do meet this person, you're gonna be very tempted to jump right in with them, but you're also gonna be like, no, 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 don't do that. You're gonna be really scared. But there's also a part of you that's like, oh my God, like I did it, I found my person. It's definitely gonna be like a push and pull, like a head over heart kind of feeling. With the temperance here, Sagittarius energy, right under the Knight of Cups, this relationship is going to take patience. And I feel like you two are going to have patience with each other. I love that. Right under the Two of Swords in the reverse, we have the Sun. And I love that too, because that tells me that you are choosing to be happy. You are choosing happiness. And with the Sun, that's Leo energy again. Yeah, you're choosing to be happy. Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. You're hesitant to jump into anything because you don't want to deplete your resources again, like you did with this past relationship. And the Nine of Cups is here at the end, which is wish fulfillment. It's funny because when we pulled on this past person, at the end was the Ten of Pentacles. And I feel like a lot of people who are just kind of gunning for their ex to come back, regardless of how terrible they treated them, I feel like they'll look at that Ten of Pentacles and go, oh, well, it'll be okay eventually. But like I said, if you go back with this person, you will end up with them. But the thing is, is like, you will get stuck. You will get stuck with them. Ten of Pentacles is like marriage. That's, that's, that's forever. That's forever energy. And above that, we have the devil. Here is interesting because the energy isn't as big, but it's a lot more healthy and it's a lot more healing. Above the Nine of Cups here, which is wish fulfillment or like a manifestation coming in, we have the three of swords in the reverse, which is healing. And that's why I like it more than what we previously pulled for the past person, 10 of pentacles with the devil above. Because previously it's like, yeah, you're getting everything that you want with this person, but you're still gonna have to deal with who they truly are. With this person, there's healing here. There's baby steps. You're taking baby steps with this person and you're still getting everything that you want. It's just not coming as fast as you expect it to. I think that at the end of the day, you'll be okay with that because you are very hesitant. You're very scared of depleting your resources again. But I think that there is a part of you that is like, shouldn't it be different? Shouldn't we be moving fast? Shouldn't we be just, you know, obsessed with each other? But no, 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 you shouldn't. Overall, we have the Four of Wands and the Three of Cups in the reverse. Again, more third party energy. And Four of Wands is marriage or relationship. That's why I'm saying, like, I think that this new person is dealing with their own shit. I think that they're currently also dealing with somebody else, as are you, but you don't know this person. I think they're learning the exact same lesson as you are right now. And I think that's supposed to happen so that you guys can both learn this lesson and then meet each other because you guys are supposed to be together. It's going to be very healing and it's going to bring a lot of happiness. This reading feels very calm or this poll feels very calm. It feels much different than the past person poll. Okay, let's pull... Today is the... F I'm filming this on the full moon, so let me pull a full moon card for you. Thank you. <laughs> 
The answers you need are coming, full moon in Gemini. Yeah. This is another card, again, this is a card about patience. Geminis, for the most part, aren't the most patient people. I'm not saying that to be mean. I just, I, I, I know a lot of Geminis, they're just not the most patient people. It's not like one of their things, that's fine. Um, it's more, I would say it's more of like an earth sign thing, right? Um, I mean, I'm, I'm mostly air and fire, so I'm, I, I, I it takes, it takes work for me to like have patience and I do have patience with people, but sometimes it gets a little rocky. Anyway, <laughs> the answers you need are coming. Like I said, there's going to be a lot of push and pull with what you feel like you should be doing and what you want to do. And this person's going to feel the same, but I feel like communication, which we see with the Gemini energy here, communication is going to be really good between you two. I don't have a lot of communication cards here, but I just feel like it's going to be very healing. I mean, you can't really have healing without communication. Oh my god, it's the full moon in Pisces today. I just pulled full moon in Pisces. Balance, spirituality, and practicality. Full moon in Pisces. Okay. It is literally the full moon in Pisces today, so what the fuck? That is actually crazy. They're telling you, again, this, this, this card refers back to that ace of cups reverse filling up your own cup focusing on yourself the more you fill up your own cup the more patience you'll have for another person the clearer your head will be the more you'll be able to see red flags and recognize red flags i'm saying that mostly for the past person that's going to come in before this person again i don't think this new person is going to come in for a minute it might be the end of September, maybe even into October. I cannot believe it's almost fall. That is so wild to me. But it looks really good, Leo. It looks very healing. It looks brand new. It looks like something different that you haven't experienced in a very long time or ever before. Hold out for something better because it's coming. But anyways, Leo, that's what I have for you. Um, if you need a personal reading, definitely get one from my stand store it's linked in the description and um hang out with me on tiktok i go live almost every night around 6 to 7 p.m pst what else what else what else what else what else um anything else go check out your other signs i am a little bit slow to uploading um because we've been moving so dude shut up see i don't want to close my window though because it's hot um but anyway we've been moving to another apartment and it's just been really, really crazy and really, really busy. And we ran into a bunch of problems in the apartment. They're all solved now and not that big of a deal, but it's just been, it's just been a lot of things. And I just haven't had the mental capacity to put towards like love readings. And I would rather put out quality than just like throw something out there for you guys, you know? So anyway, I love you guys so much. I'll see you later. Bye.